Okay, about the way that the Earth specifically or the planets rotate around the sun, which I'm assuming they do. I don't think it's an ellipse. I don't think it's a spiral. I think it's something very similar to what we actually see. This is if you would take a picture of the sun at the same time, you know, every day, it would look exactly like that. It would trace that path in the sky, which doesn't look like an ellipse and it doesn't look like a spiral. So this is kind of what I think that it is. It, it should be what we see. You know, that would make the most sense. So I went digging to try to find a little bit and I, yeah, you'll, you'll see. So this actually has a name. I don't know if I'm going to say it right, but it's the Analemma infinity sign. So the first two things I notice is that the lobes are not equal. And then the second thing is that the equinox line, the middle dashed line, is not at the crossing point, which I would kind of just intuitively think it would be, but it's not. So this next picture here breaks down the dates a lot better. Um, and again, the equinox line, not on the crossover point. And so you can kind of trace your finger around. So just looking at the top, the smaller lobe, it's about four months, four and a half months, right? Some of April, May, June, July, and most of August. It's about four months. And then eight months are spent in the other lobe. Now, this image just kind of sparked a memory I had of this. Now, if you're familiar with this, or if you're not familiar with this, this is the Venus pentagram. Earth is the blue dot in the middle, and then from our perspective, Venus traces out that loop-de-loop -loop pentagram motion. Um, and then during the loop, it goes into retrograde, and then that yellow dot is the sun, and it's going to go into an animation. You're going to see the sun's going to rotate around, and then it'll trace... You know, the white dot, which is supposed to be Venus, will trace out its orbit. This is what I think orbits of at least the Earth and Venus <laughs> look like. Um, it's not a perfect analogy. This I didn't make this uh, this animation. I just took it off. Of, I'll put the link. I took it off a website. And I just the perspective isn't right with the blue dot with Earth, but looking from above, it should look something very similar to this. So let me run the animation. Keep in mind that infinity loop that I showed you before, and the four and the eight, right? So four months in the smaller lobe, eight months in the larger lobe, right? That's going to be important here as we move along. Uh, so let me put this in motion, and we'll get a look. Through one, It's going to be five loops, one run through. And that takes us right back to where we started. So now I'm going to run it through again. This time I'm going to be counting from 1 through 12 uh, for each of the five loops. So I'm going to count 1 through 12 five times. And try to visualize this. It's not... It's 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 there, but it's, it's kind of difficult to see. Looking at it right now, the Venus is on, say, the left side of the sun. And then as both of them move, it ends up going to the right side of the sun. And then it goes back to the left as it approaches the loop-de-loop -loop again. And you'll notice that it's four on one side and eight on the other, corresponding to the two lobes. So it's in, you'll see it's in the, sh the small loop for 11, 12, 1, 2. And then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 are in the larger loop. All right, so 11, 12, 1, 2 is smaller loop, and the rest is the larger loop. 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right. If this were flipped or just rotated 90 degrees so that we were, instead of looking on the 180 line, 180 azimuth line, we were looking on the equinox line, the 40 degree altitude line. So if you're looking that way, it's four months on the right, eight months on the left. And then it kind of sweeps around, catches up to itself, and then goes to the other side. And then four and eight, four and eight. All right, we're going to watch it again. This time I took still frames of the 12 pictures. So it's not a, going to be a continuous motion. So let's watch it here as it goes. So it's in front. Now it's on one side. Now it's behind. Now it's on the other side. Whips around. Now it's in front again. Now it's on the other side. Behind. Other side. So would that motion produce this result that we have? Like, this is the answer. This is what we see. So we have to get a motion that matches that. I think it's feasible that what we just saw would look like this from the surface. Now, again, this is a much better view. This is the rotated 90 degree view. So we're looking four months to the right, eight months to the left. And it sweeps and it moves in that speed. You know, it... it it was it slowed down essentially in the small loop to loop in the middle. It would slow down, which is what we see four months to go very short distance, and then eight months to go very long distance around and up and around and being slingshotted from here to there. All right, so let's try to figure out the mechanics of this. Why would it? Why would it do this? So now as it's leaving, as it's leaving the loop, say from right here it starts. So the sun is dragging it, pulling it. And as it reaches the outside of the orbit, it slingshots it forward. Now it's ahead of the sun. And then right there, they turn around each other. So that's literally like a full rotation around each other. And then the sun ends up pulling it, dragging it, slingshot right now, throws it ahead. And then it slows down as the sun catches up to it. And they rotate around each other. Sun drags it, pulls it along. As it reaches the outside, slingshots it ahead again, right there. Now it slows down after the slingshot. The sun catches up, rotates around, and they do a loop right there. They rotate around each other, and then it pulls, drags, and slingshots again. That's what I got. So ideas, if anybody can shoot this down, go for it. If you think this might be something worth talking about please talk about it i don't know just what i came up with today thanks for watching